guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share my recipe for my fresh berry compote. It's delicious. It's really, uh, I like to think of this as like a fresh, quick uh, jam, really, because this is what it reminds me of. But there's no pectin in it, so it's not going to be stored like you would store jam. It's easy and quick to do, so let me take you over the ingredients so you can get started. I'm going to need a mixture of berries, and I'm using some blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries, but you can use any kind of berry that you like. Plain old sugar, some cornstarch, and you're going to need an orange because we're going to be using the zest and the juice of the orange. Now, this is something that's absolutely fantastic on so many different things. I use it as a topper on ice cream. I use it today. I'm going to be using it with my homemade waffles, so it's like really delicious and goes together perfectly. You can use it to top pancakes. You can use it with, I don't know, your croissant. You can just use this however you would use jam, you know, on a muffin, on a cupcake, or even like, um, I use this as the fruity layer on one of my trifle recipes. Delicious! And also to make like little parfaits for breakfast. But anyway, let's get into the cooking, shall we? I have a large saucepan here. I'm going to preheat it over medium heat. I'm going to put in my berries. Now the raspberries, the big ones I've halved, the small ones I've left whole. So I'm going to put that in there with the sugar, whoops, and the zest of an orange. Now, the one thing you want to be careful here is that you don't mix up the, the berries so much that they're going to fall apart. Because you want to keep the shape, you want to be able to tell that you have beautiful pieces of berry in your compote. So, you know, try not to mush them up too, too much. Now, while that's happening, it smells fantastic already, I'm just going to give this a light. Just like that's fine. I'm going to cook this over medium heat or until the sugar dissolves. It'll take about five to seven minutes. And again, don't mush it up too, too much because you want to be able to see the berries. In the meantime, I'm going to make the slurry for that's going to go in here to thicken it up. Now, what I have here is some cornstarch. And to this cornstarch, I'm going to add in the juice about, I would say, half of an orange. You need about a tablespoon or so of orange juice. That's good. If a little pulp goes in there, that's perfectly fine. It's going to be delicious. So just give this a stir with a little spoon. This makes a little slurry. This is going to be the thickening agent that takes this from liquidy to a really nice thick consistency. So I'm going to just set that aside. I'm going to babysit my berries, giving them a stir every now and then until it comes up to a boil. And once it's up to a boil, just cook it enough for the sugar to dissolve. My mixture is up to a boil and the sugar has dissolved. So now I'm going to add in our cornstarch slurry and just stir it in very gently. As you can see, you can still see the berries are nice and plumped up and have their shape. So that's wonderful. And I'm going to let this cook and I'll let it boil for one minute. And after the one minute, I'm going to just let it cool a bit so that it thickens up a little bit and then we'll serve it. Now after I put in my cornstarch slurry, I let it cook for a minute and then I'm just letting it cool for a little bit, but you know me, I'm impatient and I'm ready to eat. So I'm going to eat this with just a little waffle today. It's just delicious. It's one of my favorite ways to eat these. Look at that. It's like the most gorgeous. Look at the beautiful colors, the texture, the fact that the berries still look like berries is the most important thing to me. Maybe not to everyone, but that is what I'm looking for making my mouth water because I know how much I love it. This is really good. Um, just don't buy everything, really. Just going to have a piece of that on a piece of my waffle. Mm. Mm. It's like fresh jam. It tastes like jam, but I don't know. It's just like 10 times better. It's really juicy. The actual fruit looks like fruit. It still has its texture. It's delicious. I'm going to go in for the blackberry because blackberries are actually my favorite berry. If you didn't know that. Mm. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I hope I've given you some ideas as to what you can use this for. But don't you worry because upcoming videos, I'm definitely going to share those ideas with you. Go to www.lauraindakitchen.com to get the recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.